point and shoot cameras and lower end cameras are slowly fading away. And that's because smartphones these days come with some really power pad cameras. They are phones with dual cameras, OIS, 6 element lenses and whatnot. So if you don't own a DSLR, there's nothing to worry about because you already own a decently powerful camera in the form of a smartphone. So if you want to shoot YouTube videos, a documentary or even a casual video, I have your back. Hi, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today I'll show you how you can shoot professional videos from your Android smartphone. Well, let's begin. First, let's set up our phones. Before you start shooting, the first thing you need to do is play with the camera options in your phone. Firstly, I recommend you to shoot videos in HDR mode if your phone supports it as it really enhances outdoor videos with greater contrast. However, you'll have to make sure to keep the phone steady. Most phones nowadays come with a camera app that has manual controls in it. In Nexus and Pixel devices, you get the ability to control exposure and white balance in the Google camera app. You can just use the exposure slider to brighten up or dim the view. There are also the white balance options. You can choose auto if you think the shot seems good enough or you can choose different options depending on where you are. For instance, you can use fluorescent if you're shooting indoors in white light and tungsten if you're shooting indoors in yellow light. The cloudy and sunny options for outdoor shooting are pretty self-explanatory. However, not every phone comes with a camera app with manual controls, especially when it comes to video capture. But if you have phones from manufacturers like Samsung, you get a camera app packed with manual controls. There are options to control the shutter speed, white balance and ISO. So you get total control of the shot. However, if you'd like these manual controls on your Android smartphone, you can try one of the third party apps. I use the Cinema FV5 app, which is available in a free version on the Play Store. But I'm using the paid one. It's a dedicated video recording app that brings total control. With the app, you can change the ISO, exposure and almost everything to get a perfect video. You can change the exposure to get a brighter video and you can also change the ISO for the same. The ISO is set to auto by default, but you can choose it manually. The higher the ISO, the brighter will be the shot. However, do make sure to keep the ISO to optimum. There are also different focus modes. You can choose manual focus and then slide up on the display to focus on different objects. You can change these parameters even while recording a video, which is certainly great. It's important to note that these manual controls may not be available on all devices. Moving on to shooting professional videos, you'd need some accessories. A quality video should be stable, so if you want to capture some stable videos, panning shots or if you're shooting alone and you want to take a face shot, you will need a tripod. There are various affordable tripods available so you can easily get one of them. You'll also need a smartphone tripod holder. I'll leave a link to a tripod and holder in the description below. Once you have the tripod and the holder, you can just attach your smartphone, set the frame, do make sure that the frame is clean and there are no unnecessary objects in the background. Once you have that perfect shot, you can start shooting. However, for YouTube videos or any other professional videos, the audio is equally important because a creator connects with the viewer through the audio. While a phone's mic is capable of recording audio, it might not be very effective as it will not be close to your mouth and it will take up a lot of surrounding noise. In that case, you can get a lapel mic, aka the clip mic, which can really improve the audio quality. They are wired as well as wireless lavalier mics and you can choose what best works for you. You should position the mic 6 to 8 inches away from the subject's mouth. Basically, you should attach it around the chest. If the subject is speaking, do make sure that the mic does not hit the clothing or anything. You can just check the sound and you're good to go. If you're planning to take some moving videos, you cannot use a tripod then. This is where a gimbal can come in handy. For people unaware, a gimbal is a portable accessory that stabilizes your moving videos. We have the DJI Osmo and it's awesome. The handheld gimbal lets you take awesome moving videos. You can tilt, pan, or set it as you like. You can also lock the focus on an object even when you're panning giving you a feel of the slider. There's also the very cool active track technology, which lets you fix the camera's focus on a face 
and when the face moves the device moves to follow the face it's dope there are other cool features as well like the ability to capture time lapse and motion time lapse videos it also lets you live stream to facebook youtube and the chinese social network weibo to sum things up the videos taken with osmo mobile are smooth as okay well they are amazing here's a video we took first without the dji osmo and now with the dji osmo mobile once you've shot videos from your android smartphone you can always enhance them in post processing well those were some simple ways to shoot professional and quality videos from your android smartphone our last outdoor video received a really positive response so this was another experimental outdoor video do let us know if you like them or not because your feedback is really important to us give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to our channel if you haven't already well that's me signing off happy shooting